Good morning, my friends. It's Thursday, November 12th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun retreat. And my little cat finished her breakfast and is wandering around, but I have with me the things that help me pray. St. Francis. Jesus. Jesus. and Mary and the baby. We have finished the book of Revelation, congratulations. Um, and we've moved back into the Old Testament to the minor prophets. And by minor, I just mean shorter books and not less important. And today the daily office takes us to the prophet Joel, who we believe lived in the ninth century and may have been a prophet associated with the temple. There were lots of prophets back in the times of the Hebrews before Christ, and they tended to, we're not sure if they would have visions or be ecstatic, um, or if it was just their thoughts when they prayed, but for many of them, they spoke really as the conscience of the people. When the Hebrew people were getting out of line, when they were not behaving well, it was a prophet who would be that voice of conscience to say, bad things are gonna happen because you're throwing your lives away. You're not taking care. You're not um, following God. And so bad stuff will happen. This was always seen as a result of God's anger, but it could also be that these were the results of a life squandered. So Joel has this vision that locusts are going to come. And he uses five different words of Hebrew for these locusts, these strange kinds of bugs that would come to Israel and they would just devour everything, every agricultural thing, every plant. They would come in swarms and just devastate the land. So there was nothing left and the people would starve. It's, it's a terrible thing to be afraid of. Joel sees these locusts coming and he uses it as a metaphor for an invading kingdom that the people are not being careful. They're not watching for what God is asking of them. They're leading carefree lives and drinking a lot and partying. And he's concerned that an outside enemy will come in and like locusts, just devour them. Stay awake, he says, for the day of the Lord is coming. It will be like a day of great darkness when swarms come in and cover the sun. What a powerful and scary image. The season of Advent is coming and we're starting to hear echoes of it in the scripture this time in which we wait for the coming of Christ, but we're also waiting for the end of days. Because for us Christians, we are told that when Christ comes again, it will be the end of this world as we know it. So we're waiting for the end with joy and expectation because when Christ comes again, we'll get to see him face to face and everything will be clear. All this brokenness will be made right, things will be explained, and we will be able to live more fully. So we're afraid, but we're not afraid. We don't know what's coming or when it's coming, but we look forward to the day when God reveals more of the divine self to us, when we understand. And so we hear echoes of this day of the Lord and the prophet Joel, which is a scary day of the Lord and yet we're supposed to look forward to it. What a strange people we are, we who wait for the end of the world because we believe it's the beginning of another. Let us pray. Almighty God, you bring us to this new day on the cusp of a holiday season, a holiday season long forgotten, the season of Advent which is really a celebration of waiting. Keep us awake, Lord. Help us to see what you're doing here 
you're doing so much in this world. Help us to become aware of your presence more and more that we may find you, find joy in you and follow you. We thank you for the arrival of some hope in a vaccine. We thank you for a new day. We thank you that our elections seem to be coming to a close. We thank you for the care and concern of our doctors and nurses and all those who take care of those with the coronavirus. Guide us, Lord. Guide us in all that we do. Bless the dying and the ill. Bring an end to this pandemic, Lord. Help us to know you and to love you and to serve you with greater wisdom and insight, keeping awake and watching for you. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who came over 2,000 years ago and will come again. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.